today I'm going to show you how I put together this temporary gift wrapping station for the holidays using the things I already have at home. I am going through the KonMari method. So anything that I organize or set up is going to be temporary, but I needed a place to wrap gifts. And in the past, I have just had them in a garment bag and just found different spots in the home, whatever was clear at the time to gift wrap the gifts. But this year I wanted to do something a little different. I wanted to have a dedicated spot and wanted to try it out to see if it would make it easier. And I, I have to say that so far it has been making gift wrapping easy. So let me get into the video and let me show you what I've done. So I've used the a, a diaper changing table that I already had from when my kids were small. The drawers had broken off, so they were long gone and in the trash, um, but they still had the runners on them. And so I removed the runners that were on each side for the drawers and just gave it a more cleaner look. Then I added a recycling bin that I already had, just a regular bin, and that is for any scraps of the wrapping paper that I need to um, you know, throw out so we to recycle. So then I attached a 3M hook and I put the gift bags on that 3M hook. Any extra rolls of gift wrapping paper will be stored here. And then I have the ones that I'm working with on top. Now I have two here, but I usually just work with one at a time. So anything extra would go under there. Now on this side, um, I have a nice shelving system. I could have put bins and baskets in here, but I really just wanted to keep it simple since it is temporary. Um, you can put boxes if you have boxes, but I just didn't want to spend the time to um, cut out shallow boxes and things like that. So I, what I did was just lay them out. And so I have a spot for my gift wrapped, um, like the gift tags, the, the pen, the bows, and there's some extra bows at the back and then my ribbon and then some tape and scissors of course that's important and then some cards at the end green cards then on the second shelf i have some tissue paper and some um, gift boxes so this year so far um everything that i bought already has boxes but i did put a few here um just in case I did get some clothing items or something like that that needed gift boxes. And then I've also put um, some candy canes. So for the kids, I'm embellishing their gifts with candy canes on the top. Then uh, at the bottom here, you can see that I have stored all the gifts that I've bought. So this year, the gifts are not humongous, so they were able to fit in here, all of them for um, kids that are outside of my immediate family, so kids other than my kids. So I've stored them in here, and so what I'm doing is wrapping them as, as I can, and as you can see, I've gift wrapped this one here, and there's a couple more that are gift wrapped in there. So anything that's gift wrapped will go in there, and and then on one side and then the other side will just be the gifts that need to be gift wrapped. So that way I have a place to store the gifts while they're um, waiting to be gift wrapped. And this way it allows me to see exactly what I have and to um, not forget anything because I have done that in the past. So that's basically it. And um, of course I just keep the surface clear so you can, I can have, uh, you know, put things that I'm working with here like ribbon or the tape and the scissors go up here. And then of course the gift wrap would be up here and I would just roll it out this way and then do my gift wrapping. So it has been working out really, really well for me. 
and I encourage you that if you haven't set up something like this, go ahead and do that because it really will make your life much more easier. Trust me on this. I've been doing it the other way. Um, just storing in a garment bag, like you said, and just finding different places around the house, but sometimes that isn't possible. This way I have a dedicated spot. My family knows not to put anything on top of this and they know not to take any of the supplies that are in my gift wrapping station. Now, if you don't have a piece of furniture like this, because I know not everyone has um, bookshelves or shelves or um, furniture lying around, of course, uh, but if you do have a sort of a shelf, even a cubby of some sort, you can use that. And if you don't have that, the simplest thing I would do is grab a canvas bin or if you don't want to buy a canvas bin or you don't have one, get a cardboard box. So the grocery store always has cardboard boxes. You can pick one up, stick your wrapping paper inside upright, stick all of your supplies, your scissors, your tape, your ribbon, uh, bows, um, just anything you think you will need, um, gift tag for the gifts and then stick your um, gift bags and gift bags that you may have at the side or at the back of your wrapping paper and then you'll have your own gift wrapping station you can set that up against any wall if you have a table set that up i encourage you to set that up because it really does save your back but if you don't you can just uh set some a floor a piece of floor space and wrap your gifts there. So I hope that you guys found this video useful. I hope that um, you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and I hope that if you do set the, one of these up, I'd love to see a picture of it. You could tag me on Instagram. I'm at, at Journey to Home Sweet Home. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I have more Christmas videos coming up, so please subscribe so you don't miss any of those. I have some DIYs and some recipes coming up, as well as a gift wrapping uh, idea. And so if you are interested in that, go ahead and subscribe, and I'd love to see you in the next video. Take care, guys, and until next time, be well. Bye.